here's the stack. It's actually starting to dwindle down a little bit, which is nice. I mean, it's still huge and I got a lot to put away, but it's, it's not bad. Let's start by doing this one. Bellflower from Oscilloscope Laboratories. If you haven't seen this movie, it is freaking phenomenal. And right now it's going next to a couple of phenomenal movies. Next, we have Under the Skin, a movie I've been meaning to watch for the longest time, and now it's in my collection, so I have no excuse. It's A24. You happy, Dan? I added another one to the collection, and it's right next to Underworld. I don't like that series. Next, I'm adding another movie to the Vestron video line with the Wishmaster collection. I own a couple of these on VHS, none of them on Blu-ray. Now I own all of them on Blu-ray, and it's going next to one of the best 4K transfers I've ever seen in my life. Sticking with boutique titles, I got an AGFA release from my local used media store, The Films of Sarah Jacobson. That's going right next to my other AGFA. I'm pushing Boarding House. Oh my God, look at that slipcover. It doesn't have a slipcover. Do I mix them or do I keep them like this? I like the uniformity. I forgot to add these to the stack, but I just got a whole bunch of Mondo Disney Steelbooks and I think I'm gonna put them with the rest of my Mondos. I think I've made enough space right there. And yes, they do. They fit perfectly. Should I do an updated Mondo video? The artwork looks phenomenal. I think I think I just might. And let's finish off with a couple more Oscilloscope Laboratories releases. Here is the Alchemist Cookbook going right next to the Alien franchise. And Clay Dreams review coming soon. Right now it's nestled by Clerks.